Welcome to the After Show Show for episode 80. If this is your first time tuning in, this is not the main episode. This is the After Show where you think about it twice and we talk about random topics of interest. Today we will do our normal flashback segment where we look at songs from six months ago and we are going to introduce a new segment we call Dumpster Diving where we go to the trashiest K-pop sites and talk about the rumors and so-called news items. Did you like that? We practiced. No, really, actually, we didn't really practice. Kind of well, we didn't. practiced by watching 30 minutes of twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so many of you don't know this, but uh, we try to put it in the after show kind of annotations, or at least Steven does, that we record this the same day we record our podcast. Mm -hmm. So all our clothes will be the same, and you know we'll probably be more tired and kind of more rambly. Mm -hmm. But we kind of take a break all pretty much always from the podcast to the after show show. And usually that's where we kind of eat or something, but we kind of ate poop. We mm, poop a little bit earlier. But what what do we do, Steven? We just watched what? We just watched twice, man. We just watched like we just watched 30 minutes over there. and over again. We were so disheartened when we learned that we punched our dicks. We punched our dicks so many times because the cutest girl is it's only, only 16. 16. 16. Ironically, which is uh, the TV show that they're from is called 16. 16. Years old. Um, That's so a, yeah, we're 11, 11 years difference for me, a lot more for me, and uh, 30 years difference for yeah. me. <laughs> All 32. You look, you look good for 46. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's that Asian, it's that Asian, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we all look about the same until we're 60, and it's like, bam, bam, Ajuma, right? Even but you know, if you think about it twice, you'll realize that makes no sense. Yeah, um, yeah, that's all right, well, today we're mm -hmm. going to start with, of course, Flashback. Shh. Flashback is when we go about, uh, we go 10 episodes back, which mm -hmm. is about six months, give, give or, or take. take. And we got to just look at the songs that either we, we liked back then, we didn't like back then, and how yeah. we think about it now, six months yeah. later. Because, you know, after you listen to a song a few times, it kind of grows on you or it kind of gets worse. So we kind of just want to go back to songs and rediscuss whether or not we changed our opinion or not. Yeah, and it's good uh, kind of practice or good looking forward to our, you know, our favorite episode of mm -hmm. the year, the top yep. 10 songs 2015. Yep. So it's good to kind of go back. Um, and as always, when we do think flashback, we do think about it twice. <laughs> this is the twice, uh, the twice time, second time. Um, and also, you know, uh, it's good to uh, it's good to remember. It's good yeah. to remember. Um, so let's talk about the first song. The first song that I assume one of us picked as the best song I, of the I episode. I want to say it's mine. I uh, want to say it's mine because I feel like you definitely would have picked the next. You picked the next one probably. Wait, no, we used to. Oh no, you're right. No, no, we used no, to group yours. it differently. It's yeah, yours because yeah, 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 yeah. I think mine's Zion. Yeah, 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 that makes more so sense. So I must have picked Girls' Day's "Hello Bubble." I I remember actually because we both really like this song. Yeah. And I was like, well, I have another song that I could pick, so yeah. I think that's why you got it. That makes sense. Um, and uh, Girls' Day's "Hello Bubble" still like that song. I still prefer this song over "Ring My Bell." Oh, miles ahead. Um, so much better than "Ring My Bell." But "Ring My Bell" has kind of. <laughs> Fungus a tiny bit in my I, mind. I, 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 I tr I'm trying really hard to remember how Ring My Bell goes, but all, all I think of, of that song is like, Ring My Bell, Ring My, my bell. bell. Actually, that's all I remember too. Yeah, I can't remember what it's. Oh, Wait, ring, goes, ring, ring, no, ring, goes, ring, ring. No, it goes, ring, ring, ring. Think about it twice. Yeah, there it there it is. Um, how does it go? Ring my bell. Oh, ring, 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 ring my bell. It's like really fast. Yeah. In the background, he's like, that's like the background. <laughs> can't understand shit. Yeah. But uh, Girls Day Hello Bubble, um, this is actually like a CF yeah. uh, video. And for uh, shampoo? I think it, it was uh, one, of Girls, one of Girls Day's uh, better, better song? songs of this last it's year. It's been kind of a weird year for her Girls Day, really, actually. That Darling, right? This year? Was that this year? Was it this year? I don't know. I mean, look it it's up. the after show, I can actually look it up. But I just mean it's it's a year where like I don't think any of their songs did anywhere close to as well as some of their previous ones. And 2015. 2015, I guess Darling. Yeah. But even Darling, I mean I mean Darling did do good. Sugar something came, pop. Out, something came out 2014, right? Huh? Something yeah, came out to yeah, supporting yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, at, since Darling, kind of they kind of, and they've had some kind of like ups and downs with mm -hmm. like some some controversies and mm -hmm. stuff. But I've heard really good things about Hetty in uh, 
Reply. Reply, yeah. Yeah, which amazes me because who would have thought? Mm. Um, I think actually, who would have I think Reply, like, I really think you need to give, you know, I watch a lot of K dramas, yeah. especially for the drama fever stuff, but like, honestly, I. This may sound blasphemous, but I do watch a lot of K-dramas. I don't think a lot of Korean actors are that good, oh, or no, actors no. or actresses. I think they're really well, good. At, I think they're really good at playing that one specific type of role, which every K-drama uses. But I think their range is not really great. Mm. Sometimes I'm just watching them, and I'm like, none of the acting here is great. But yeah. I think you have to give a lot of props to the Reply team because mm. I think their writers are so good, and yeah. it makes them have these like different characters and, yeah. and it, it makes it easy for them to like act well i feel like yeah yeah i think yeah. they do a really good job of, of that whereas in a lot of non-cable dramas it's just like just go as ger generic as you can go mm -hmm. and it'll be great you know open your um, eyes when you kiss and you know i was like just that. uh for my latest k-drama thing like i just started noticing how people argue and people yell in mm -hmm. k-dramas and they always yell like this they try they keep their entire body Fucking still, and they're just like, yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry too. I'm angry. And, and it's cool. like, if you're actually angry, you'd like use hand movements and you'd uh -huh. probably like walk around and look yeah. around and kind of pace back yeah. and forth. And like in most K dramas, just like, stay still because the camera's framed and you can't move because if you move, it's gonna fuck up the framing of the camera. So talk like this. Or sometimes, like in an action shot, they'll like grab their sleeves like this. Yeah, and just kind of like, and just talk to them. Yeah. Hey man, I'm it's angry. like so. <laughs> like I don't think people realize just how shitty the acting is sometimes. In no, I yeah. think the uh, acting is pretty bad sometimes in American TV shows too. Yeah. But like, I, I just I just noticed just kind of how how bad it is. It's because I feel like for Korean kind of dramas and everything, there are a lot more like common kind of archetypes of characters. No, yeah. so like usually those archetypes like are really kind of pronounced, like. Usually, like in a K drama, like I mean, you make K laws, right? Yeah. So like, there is kind of cliche things that happen all the time. Yeah. Where kind of American dramas, uh, it kind of happens the same. Um, like, like there's the bad cop, there's yeah. a good cop. You, you kind of get like typecasted, but I feel like there's like more wider array of like shows that people enjoy. Yeah, I think there there there's generic characters in both, but there's more generic. <clears throat> Characters in yeah. the breadth of American television yeah. than the the four or whatever yeah. it is. Like you're not gonna find like a Game of Thrones or like a House of Cards or, or like any Orange any is the New comedy, Black, any, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it makes me sad because it's like they it, it, maybe the Korean audience obviously wouldn't like it. Maybe that's why they haven't done know. it yet. But it, it would definitely be a kind of risk. I mean, that's why I love Jun Ji Hyun because yeah. she. I mean, she only plays that one role, but like that one role, like you know. If, if you don't know who she is, she's in uh, My Sassy, My Sassy girl. girl. She's the girl in My Sassy Girl. She's also the girl in... You Came um, From the Stars. You Came From the Stars. Like, Four she Hillary. plays this character that nobody else in Korea plays. And, and I love that. I love it. I just, just like I like Unji. Mm -hmm. I think Unji is one of the only people that can play like a dorky, teenager, manly, a dorky teenager. Like, manly, not really feminine. Yeah, like whiny and like unreasonable yeah. but cute and like pouty and like yeah. nobody plays teenagers like she yeah. does. Um, so I, I'm really kind of... Yeah. I really like that. Anyways, let's move on. The next song, of course, is uh, Shiny's View. view. No, 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 Shiny's no, View no, still, no, despite no, the knockoffs, no, no, no. Shiny's View is still my favorite um, mm, Euro Poppy mm, song. Mm, 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 mm. Think you know, about it twice. You know it gets late when Josh just starts singing, singing and, dancing, and talking yeah. over me. It's not even that um, late. It's like 11. Yeah, but I think for your body, it's like 7 a.m. I'm tired, man. Yeah. Uh, the next song is Park Boram's Super Body. Uh, I remember we mentioned it just because it was Park Boram and we were all hyped on Park Boram and we didn't like that song. Was this before or after Celebrity? Af before. This is this was the this was the one the where original one Celebrity was the copy. Oh of that no, one? you right. No, no, no. Oh, no, Celebrity no. first. Celebrity was, was copy. first. I think this one was the copy. copy. This one was the one for the commercial. I think. The um, diet commercial. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was like the ex she like remixed her own song or she like. What's the word? She J-Parked her, <laughs> her own song. <laughs> no, she just like parodied her own song pretty yeah, much. Like yeah. she changed the lyrics of her own song. Yeah. Uh, my name's Just Tell Me. I Nothing is really For life of me, I, I don't know how that sounds. I'm sorry. Nothing reads my But uh, how about these? These are your songs. So Zion T Eat. Um, I still kind of like that song, but I feel like Zion T has put out better songs than that. 
Um, you mean the exact same song? This past year. Well, Zia T, despite Steven, um, like, his dislike, Zia T actually has been very uh, popular this year. Yeah, he's like, been doing really, he, really he well. Ha he has been really doing really well. Uh, Yangwa Bridge was yeah. this year really well. It, like, shot up back on the chart for some random-ass reason, yeah, uh, like, six, like, months later. And uh, No Makeup has been no really makeup popular really as well. Good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is a Korean, like, Koreans love this shit. Yeah, like, they like moody kind of... Yeah. Uh, emotional thing that's why they yeah. like ballads so much yeah um, and zion t is kind of like a neo ballad yeah he, he still tugs on the same heartstrings like a family and like not talking to your parents as much as you should or like the stresses of being a young adult yeah. and he kind of just puts a little funk in it and people just eat that shit up they do i think it all sounds same but again, i eat that shit up i don't understand the lyrics right yeah yeah and then uh sung Kyu with control sung Kyu is from uh infinite infinite uh, infinities um, Only reason I know that, cause of the genius. I re oh, yeah, the best fucking show. Uh, I I remember this song. We we kind of like the song, but I, I for the life of me I can't. I don't know how it sounds now. And I, yeah, I don't know how it sounds because I never downloaded it. I yeah. did not think about it twice. And then the next song is uh, I'm guessing Chan Hyo's song yep. with "Into You." I don't know how that song sounds anymore. Good night, kid. No, I know Good this. Good night, I, baby. I don't know why this one is on. <laughs> no, 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 that's a Miss A song. Like, I, when we, uh, pre-going through this list, I was like, I did not download many of these. I did not download any, like, I think only, like, through two of these songs, man. But you know which song I listen to? I still listen J to. Jay Park featured our uh, Chigo Ugly Duck with Mo 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 Me, Mo 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 Me. I can't do it. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like Jay Park has been doing pretty hot this year. He has. We talked about our main episode. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one is still... You know, even though I've listened to this song so many times, I'm starting to like it less and less. Like, it's still a great song. Are but I think I'm a little oversaturated. Because, like, if it's this song in my last, nowadays, oh, I'm picking my last. I, feel, I, feel like, I think like... my last is an overall much better song. This one is just more of a like if you're in that mood of boom, to doom, 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 you know. You're, I you're, feel like for both, I'm, I'm a little bit oversaturated. A little oversaturated. Yeah, that's true. He's got a lot more other songs, you know. Mm. Um, but yeah, my, good job, Ugly Duck. Um, and then in our lightning Ugly round, duck. we talked about Boa's "Kiss My Lips." Haven't heard it since then. Mm -hmm. You do. We'll just ping pong. Monster X Trespass. Nope, don't remember that shit. Didn't like that. Mm -mm. Kata's Cupid, which I have heard because uh, I would watch Weekly Idol and I went back and watched the Kata one. It's not a bad song. Never downloaded that one. Mm -hmm. uh, Heejin featuring, uh, and Tiffany not featuring, q and A. I I remember kind of liking that song, but I never listened to it again. Me too. Then we have JJY Band. I remember that mm -hmm. because uh, it we were was like, like... interesting. Yeah, and the music video is pretty interesting. Um, uh, haven't listened to that one since then. Uh, N Flying Awesome, definitely not. I have not listened to that. Definitely haven't listened to that. And N Flying just had a new song, I think, yeah. uh, last uh, episode, but yeah. we also didn't talk about we it because we don't like it too. either. Yeah. And of course, this song, which I have heard, but only by accident, and that's uh, Diplo CL Riff, Riff Rap, Rap OG, OG Mako, Mako with Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. Bell. Sorry, it's not a good song. It wasn't. It's and on, and honestly, with that. like the rumors that 21's coming back, and then that shifted into it's a solo comeback, which shifted into it's probably CL comeback, shifted into like, you know, it's not going to be Park Bomb. She's still in the cage, right? Like, it's got probably got to be CL, right? Like, yeah. she it still, yeah, haven't, it still hasn't debuted in America yet. Maybe We're Minzy. still waiting. Yeah, maybe Minzy. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe. It's probably. <laughs> Blah, Dr. Pepper. Awful song. Um, let me, let's look through the things we didn't talk about. I mean, Becky Young was really popular. Yeah. Um, we were talking about it recently, right? I don't know if it's Beck that song, though. Oh. It, I think it is, though. Um, mm. I think that song, Becky Young song, Becky Young song was like, it debuted really, really low. And then, like, after, like, a, a couple months, people started listening to it, listening to it, listening to it, and it just shot up to, like, number one. Um, yeah, none of these songs. Yeah, no, no, nothing. Nope, nope, nope. No, Ooh, was this the episode no. that Jessica left? Oh, no. No. That was a while ago. Since she enjoys her <clears throat> independence. Um, Yeah, I honestly, looking back, like, I kind of thought episode 80, right, today's episode was kind of like has some meme songs, but this one, episode 70, pretty, pretty meh. meh. Like, honestly, the only songs that I the still... The best song was maybe... Best song is definitely Mome. Yeah, probably Mome. Maybe Chinese View. 
You sure not? I mean, I really like Chinese view as well, but... And Hello Bubble? But eating sushi da, da, off da, da, of uh, bubble, bubble, women's bubble. bodies, man. Like, da, I mean, da, that's... Da, 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 da. I remember Mome, because uh, I remember watching... Um, mm-hmm. Whose reaction channel had one mm-hmm. of the dancers? One of the models? Uh... Uh, sun, was it that guy who came in the same sunglasses guy? Yeah, back 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 Mukta, whatever. Back Mukta, yeah. Yeah, like they shot the reaction with one of the models in that thing, and I yeah. remember the model like being really hot, and yeah. and and me being like, "What are we doing with yeah. our lives?" You know, funny story. Back Mukta, they actually were in the same intake as us. Yeah. We were in the same program. Or we? Even, I'm not sure if they're still in it. I'm guessing they are. I don't. Um, I, don't I haven't checked their channel out in, in a long, um, long time. But yeah, they came in the same the same time as us and and they doing way better yeah and they were actually in like the same orientation as us and we have like some funny stories about them that um we won't tell because they're a little bit slanderous i mean but, they, they do drunk reactions like and, i mean they they, they kind of obviously they're, they're good looking dudes they party a lot i mean josh is also good looking dude and parties a lot but i don't so it's completely foreign to me actually the asian guy i think was the very first person i ever talked to in korea Huh, that's crazy. Yeah. The second one was Judith. Yeah. And then I remember getting on the bus and I was like, hey, this girl's kind of cute. I want to talk to her. And then the Asian guy kind of like, and then, swooped in. And then I was like, oh. Yeah, I remember. I think I couldn't I, think about it I twice. I think I bonded, you, bonded with you over a uh, Firefly shirt. Maybe. Yeah, because you were like, I think you were wearing a. a I was wearing the, uh, I think, a, uh, the wash shirt. Yeah, yeah, it was like wash playing with the uh, yeah. dinosaurs, maybe. And he was like, curse your son, but yeah. inevitable. Yeah. Like, and I was like, "Oh, yeah, that's that's your that's from Firefly, right?" And then you're like, "You like K-pop?" Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't really talk much when we first got here. It wasn't no. until much like a couple. Yeah, because Stephen pretty much started. broke his leg. I did. <laughs> Second day in Korea. Well, it's pretty much almost broke his leg, and he was forever known as a handicapped guy. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's great. It was great. Good times. Thanks for reminding me. That was good times two years ago. Um, all right, well, that's it for Flashback. Let's move all on right. to our brand new section. It's called Dumpster, Dumpster Diving. Diving. This is when I will go to Netizen Buzz or All K-Pop or Korea Boo or what, some kind some of trashy McTrash site and uh, try to, you know, fill you in on some, like, because sometimes, sometimes we get news. Twitter, new, uh, like a Twitter message like, hey, what do you think about this? This happened. And I'm just like, I don't really don't care. Uh, I don't really have an opinion for that. But this is going to be where we give an opinion on trash. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not always trash, though. For example, one of the news things is, I just told him, like, right before we started recording, oh, but yeah. Hyungdon from Weekly Idol, which uh, a couple episodes ago, a couple episodes ago, we talked about how great Weekly Idol is. Like, he is stepping down from hosting most of his shows or all of his shows because he's has problems with, like, anxiety and kind of depression. Um, which is really sad because they canceled yeah. this week's Weekly Idol and I think they're starting to look for a replacement. But uh, it's not the same because I, I really like like his personality and I really like like his emceeing style. Yeah. And I don't think they can like Yeah, to find replace a replacement, him, like, you know? I think it's it's so sad. And, that, and that's like the sad thing about just fame. Like, before he wasn't so popular and then recently, and not even, not even, not even not recently, but... Uh, he's been slowly kind of gaining popularity, and with that comes a lot of kind of pressures. Yeah, and I think I think I, I read a quote. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think I read a quote that's like saying he's like he's the more he's known as being funny, the more pressure it is to be, be funny. funny. Yeah, and it was like making him like really anxious and and have a lot of anxiety. So yeah. um, that's really sad. Yeah. Like. It's, I was just talking to my students about you know being celebrities, and and a lot of kids wish they were famous, but. They really don't, they don't think all the saying, way through, yeah. right? Like, they don't think about all the shit that they have to do. Yeah, with. I mean, it's the same with, like, teens in America. Like, like, oh, do you want to be a famous rapper? Yeah, I want to be a famous rapper. Like, oh, you want to be, like, you know, an actress like you know Jennifer yeah. Lawrence? And yeah, sure, they'll say yes, you... but they don't really understand all the things that that comes with. Yeah, like, I mean, we're not saying pity celebrities, right? Like, yeah. I mean, they, you know, they, they make lots of money, yeah. they have a lot of fun, and they, they have a good time. But there are a lot of breaches of privacy and, bre- like, things yeah. that you would, like, you know, I can go to the store. Yeah. You know, even if I'm YouTube famous, you can kind of go to the store. Ain't yeah. no one, ain't, you know, paparazzi really looking at YouTube yeah. famous motherfuckers, yeah. right? Uh, but, you know, if you're a real celebrity, there's, like, people with, like, cameras that can zoom in from three miles away kind of, like, looking for you in your underwear and shit. Yeah. It's like, Jesus. Looking at you when you're wanking it or something, you know? That's why you always uh, pull down the windows. I mean, why wouldn't you do that now anyway? So next, Trash. Uh, next, did you see So In Young's 
19 yeah, plus that video. Was weird, man. Appar- I didn't watch it all the way through. That um, was weird, but man. apparently there's a breast exposure in it. Oh, really? I didn't. And it turns that. out breast exposure not even hers. It was a foreign models. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. And I love the top comment, which is, can she just release some good songs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shots fired. Shots fired. Shots beep, beep, beep. Fired. Shots fired. All right, let me keep going down. Uh, Aoi's Mina, she posted, uh, instead of Pray for Paris on Instagram, she wrote Play for Paris because R's and L's get confused in Korea all the I time. I thought it was like Perry for Paris or something. like something. Oh, I thought I read Play. Mm. Um, twice. They thought about it twice. They debuted at 90, number 99 on the charts, but because they've been promoting and because word of mouth has spread, they're all the way up to nine now. Wow. Which is pretty dang good well, for- well, uh, nine, 99 was kind of really low because 16, the show was actually kind of popular. I yeah, but I think to be on the on the chart, you gotta be more popular than just mm-hmm. the like little, little kids. Um, let me see. Let me see. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh yeah, Music Core is getting rid of its ranking system. So um, how are they gonna? How are uh, they gonna crown their? Well, they're not. No one's winning one and number one anymore. Huh. They're just gonna showcase music instead of having it being a competition. How amazing! Can um, you believe that? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but apparently, like. Every two or three years, a lot of the programs cancel their ranking system, and then yeah. two or three layers later, it's back. Bring it back, yeah. Like, actually, one of the other music programs recently just brought theirs back after like seven years or something yeah. of it being away. And um, I think I think probably music was it Music Core, one of them. Music Core is probably like Ugh, too yeah, many. We better step down. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the top comment again from trash sites, right? The top comment is is true. I think music shows are just fandom fights. Mm-hmm. Right, the real talents don't win number one because they're pushed away by idols with big fandoms, and mm-hmm. I think that's fucking true. So true. So, and I, if you guys don't know what Edison Buzz is, so it, this is like a, a blog basically where a person kind of takes articles like in Korean and they translate like the article and like the top comments f- into English. So like kind of like so we can kind of hear the Korean can, point of view. Yeah, but of course they're cherry picked comments, you know. Yeah. So a lot of people have kind of things against. Uh, yeah. Uh, things against it, but uh, NS Yunji hopes to retire. No, that's uh, that's been denied. Let me see. This is uh, there's not enough crazy mm-hmm. stuff that I was expecting. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Are mm-hmm. idols promoting a negative body image to teenagers? Um, everybody's gonna say that, <laughs> and to a, to an extent, it's true. It's like, are pretty people trying to make other people want to be pretty? And that's kind of what? always true. Um, but I feel like not idols but just kind of like a deep-seated korean mentality is the result of that i think it's an everywhere mentality yeah but i I think it it is especially crazy in korea because i mean asians in general you know we don't all look the same but we look very similar hey so when everyone looks very similar to when you 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 try so hard to differentiate yourself right Mm -hmm. like we should have talked about that in our last after show show for plastic surgery oh that's right like people forget that like you want to you, to differentiate yourself in America? It's pretty easy. There's a lot yeah. of like, there's goths. There's like all these things, yeah. subgroups that in Korea there are no subgroups like that. You you well, have to wear there uniforms, are, but there aren't like there are there are even more of a minority than like even in the states. Right. You know, right, right, right. Like there's not really like jocks versus cheerleaders versus mm-hmm. nerds versus goths versus hippies versus druggies. Like it, yeah. it's it's really not. It's just like the cool kids versus not cool kids, but. Yeah. Um, apparently it says a survey showed that 45.1% of female junior and high school students had gone on a diet, which makes sense. And 18.8% had abused laxatives. Wow. Seems kind of high to me. That is really high actually. So, so pretty much 18% of, was it female high school or just female? Or is it just high school in general? Junior and high school students. Is that junior and female? That just is. No, 40, of uh, just female. Just female? Man. Yeah. <laughs> like, a lot of you don't uh, know, but, like, there is just some really, really extreme kind of Korean, like, diets. And one of them is just taking laxatives. So you, like, will just pretty much pee out all your weight or, like, poop out all your weight. And, of course, it, like, it's really stupid because like if you lose a lot of water then your skin gets like all dried up you don't look as good but to them it's just like oh i'm losing weight i must look good 
and yeah i mean it's it's the same as like people who throw up yeah. you know people who yeah. you know do all like those aren't diets though that's yeah. a problem right yeah. that's a problem yeah. um i don't know here's a 2015's most downloaded male idol songs and groups quick josh who is number one on most downloaded male idol songs? Like one one song or art just artists. They group them all together. Oh, number one has to be Big Bang. Number one's Big Bang. Bye yeah. Fucking shit ton. 8.4 million. Um, Who do you think is number two? That is hard. Groups, right? Yeah, it's not it's not hard. Just think about it. EXO? Think about it twice. It is EXO! Number three. Surprising. Um. Mm. Number three, maybe BTS? Nope. Mm. Mm. Shiny. Maybe you're playing along at home. It is shiny. shiny. That's number three. Number four. No, this is kind of hard. BTS. So Big Bang, EXO, Shiny, not BTS. Because uh, I, I really feel like BTS would be up there. But... BTS is sort of up here. There's seven. Okay. This is number five? Four. Four? Jeez. Think about, you know, big companies. Big cup. Oh yeah, you're right. Who's an SM that's not shiny? That's a big company. <clears throat> Think um, about other big companies. Um, Two PM. Think about no, JYP. Ain't no big company. Uh, Think about the other one. YG. Yeah. Is it uh, Winner? Winner didn't have any songs this year. Icon. It's Icon! Number four is Icon. Wow, really? Yeah, with 1.5 million. Icon, wow. Shiny is 1.6. Now, to be fair, Icon, I mean, they they release a lot. But that's a lot. Yeah, they're number four. They're oh, Icon, all right. Number five. Might be hard. BTS, no? Nope, that's seven. Oh, yeah, that's right. You told me. Um, I'm going to say 2 p.m. 2 p.m. I don't even think they're on this fucking list, man. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Oh, they the are. List. They're number nine. Hmm. So for the record, BTS is seven hundred and fifty thousand. About two PM is three hundred thousand. Wow, that's a big difference. Yeah, but I think they only had one song. Uh, two songs. So winner no, Icon no, Big Bang no, JYP. Who's it even in JYP? It's quite good. No. This is not a from a big company. Not from the big three. Not from a big three. Yes, it's probably the biggest of the non-big three people. Beast. Beast. Right. But number five would be six B to B. Surprised. Wow. Higher than BTS, number seven. But I feel like B2B, most of their releases are digital. I don't think they really do a lot of physical. True. And this is most downloaded. Yeah. According to some source, I have no fucking idea. Yeah. Uh, eight is Infinite. Wow, eight Infinite. Yeah. Actually, I'm not too surprised. A yeah. lot of foreign and, fans are really like Infinite. Yeah, and then there's that big jump to 2PM, then VIX, then... VIX. Hmm. Oh, GOT7 is number 11. Oh, GOT7. <laughs> GOT7, what is it even in my mind? Super Junior. Wow, Super Junior. It's number 12. Yeah, I was like, who? who's in SM besides Shiny and XL? I was like, I don't know. Yeah. B1A4 is number 13. Huh. Uh, CM Pudu. Oh, CM Blue. Blue. And Teen Top, number 15. Oh, is it in Korean? It's all in Korean. Uh. Um, except for 2 p.m. Um, so, of course, number let me, number one through uh, seven is Big Bang, Big Bang, Big Bang, Big Bang, like Loser, Bang, 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 Bang Bebe, If You. Uri, Sarang, Hajima, uh, Yo, and what's mm -hmm. Man Jong Shin? Oh, uh, that's sober. Oh, that's sober? Yeah. And we like to party as last. Which makes we sense, I think. We like to party. We like to party. Of course, next is Call Me Baby. Call Me Baby. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Icon, of course. Airplane. Call Me Baby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Big Bang, Choro, or. Uh, Choro. Uh, Choro. Uh, Oh, they had the fucking English down here. Wow. Oh, damn it. Um, so that's good. Oh, oh, do they not have girls? Oh. Hmm. Uh, let me see what else we got. Um, blah blah blah. Man, this isn't as this isn't as juicy as as, as I I should have pre done pre looked. I thought we just by going through it there'd be some uh, there'd be some good shit. Um, okay, here we go. So the big one and the one that made me want to come up with dumpster diving oh, was this. IU. Are you? I use a little bit of hot water. Yeah, and I don't know the super amounts of details because I try to stay away from this kind of shit. But in Ayu's new album, whether you, maybe you know this, maybe you don't, she has a song called Zitzi. Or Tete. Or Tete. And uh, the lyrics of this song are um, based on a book. A book called My Sweet Orange Tree. Of course, without, I think, the permission. Yeah, because Korea um, never really takes permission. 
When it uses stuff. I mean, I'm not entirely sure. Copyright laws are just like, yeah. Now, the book is an autobiograph autobiographic story. Mm. No, it's not. It's not. I lied. It, I lied. I think it's fictitious. Why do you lie? Um, I should have read some of this stuff before. But uh, pretty much, the song follows the story of kind of like a little boy. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and the way the lyrics are kind of planned out, right? Like... It kind of gets molested or something sexual kind of happens to him. Yeah. Damn it, I wish Mina was here. And um, so basically, uh, Ayu in her song Zetta is pretty much um, a song about the book. And now, uh, originally, uh, she, nobody nobody really kind of batted eye. They were kind of like, oh, this is really weird, Ayu. Like, are you talking about sexing up a young boy? And then the actual... The, the author of the book was like, oh, thanks for, you know, pretty much stealing my idea. And everybody was like, what are you talking about? And so they did a little bit more research, as, you know, all netizens do. And they're like, oh, man, I used talking about being a pedophile. What the hell? And then it was a little bit more controversy because obviously she didn't, you know, pay for copyright daily dealies. No. So... Yeah, she's in a little bit of hot water, but not too much because she's IU um, and she's a national treasure. So it does say it is an autobi autobiographical novel written by Jose Moro de Vasconcelos. Sorry about that. It's about a five-year-old Brazilian boy by the name of Zizi who is known for being mischievous when left alone at home. And because of this, his parents and older siblings physically discipline him for his pranks. However, while in school, Z Z Zizi is described as an angel with a heart of gold. The teachers love him. He later finds refuge in a small orange tree in his family's new home. And somehow he can communicate with this tree. So the actual novel has nothing to do with sex yeah. at all, right? Yeah. And so they're kind of accusing, like, even though Ayu says she's writing this from the point of view of another character, right? She's, she's, she's writing this as this character called Min Gwin Ho, okay? Um, the song itself is kind of, it is kind of sexual. It's kind of sexual. Like, um, I'm trying to read through this. That's like, like a blooming flower. Look at those two cheeks becoming rosy. You're very naive, but obviously cunning. Uh, something about you is dirty. What's living inside of you? There's no way to know. Yeah, that's really nasty. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's... The thing is, reading these lyrics, there, there wasn't one part where I was like, I want to fuck you in the butt. Right? It was... I don't think it... I don't really think it's that bad. Especially reading the uh, uh, summation of the actual novel. Yeah, maybe like, she's maybe she's writing from the point of view of the orange tree. Well, the orange tree... It says the orange tree... Oh, it is. Yeah, the orange tree's name is Ming Guinho. Okay, yeah. So she's writing it from the from the perspective of the tree. So the tree is kind of like, hey, climb up me, right? Climb up yeah. me. Uh, don't fool around, don't hurt the tree. Climb up me. Um, but obviously it's very sexual and if you just... To be honest, I don't yeah. think any of this is that sexual, man. But like, you know how people are, they like over-sexualize everything, so... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I heard this was a big deal and I'm reading this thing and I'm like, what the... F what's so fucking big... I mean, I think, A, um, I don't listen to any of her lyrics. And if I knew these were her lyrics, Whatever. I still wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> like, I mean, this is kind of that, that kind of stuff where it's like, I'm being really artistic, guys. Being really yeah. artistic. I made this song for my college, you know, project. I'm a tree. Yeah, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm talking with the perspective of a tree. It's I'm like, a tree, man. All right, man. I don't, I don't care that much. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like this, con this controversy ain't even that big of a deal, but... It, Apparently, lot, I mean, it ties also to the fact that a lot of her pictures from the album are kind of this, like, I mean, she's always kind of had this, like, little girl persona, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of people, especially in the comments, are like, well, like, like, like K-pop's always been sexualized. Like, why are people pointing it out just because IU did it? Like, K-pop's been sexualized since the beginning of time, or blah, 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 blah. Um, but to be honest, I think there's a big difference between sexualizing like sexualization in K-pop and sexualizing a story about 
five year old boy. I mean, I, I yeah, think that's true. I think it's a little different. I don't think a lot. I don't think Stellar is is fucking but, talking about sexualizing stuff. But I they mean, just did sexualizing things. But I mean, even like the Giving Tree, a lot of people like I've talked to people who are like, man, the Giving Tree is like really sexual in nature. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, well, the the tree is a, like a woman, mm. and it's like. He, she, he loves take take. she loves the boy. Yeah, you, yeah. loves the boy. Like, gives up her body for the boy. It's like symbolism for a woman who's like kind of in an abusive relationship with a man. I was like, oh, I didn't get that from the book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I got like an inanimate object, like given kind of like a personality mm -hmm. of like giving to a fault and how kind of greedy humans are yeah. to nature. I took it as a more of like an environmental kind of thing. Yeah. But I mean, this goes to show that you can kind of pretty much sexualize almost everything even though this is kind of if i mean because iu like is explicitly said like there's something about that little boy that's charming and sexy she did explicitly yeah say that? yeah i think so in like some interview hmm. yeah i mean i'm reading these other things like I, I guess what the summary i mean the summary kind of glazed over like the physical beatings but apparently like in the book like we're talking about beatings we're talking about cruelty to your children mm. we're talking about like this child should be put with another person right um so she, uh, you know some people are saying like she took a story about like a story about this horrific experience that this boy had again it's autobiographical right mm -hmm. she took this this awful experience that he had and kind of reimagined it as like this like romance between this tree and this boy, boy. and it's kind of like why would you do that and I kind of, I'm kind of going, on, I'm going around to that. Yeah, like, yeah. why even, why even make us, a, a, why even make a song about that? Mm -hmm. Why? Two, why make a song from such a weird perspective of such a specific story? Yeah, like, I, I feel so like. Weird. So the author is obviously, I, I think from some South American. I think Brazil, of, maybe. Yeah, and I, I doubt I you probably read the book. She probably like heard of the idea from somebody and was like. Hey, like check it out. There's like a uh, this book, and then like somebody told her about it. It's like, oh yeah, this this guy, like you know, he grew up in an abusive household, and then he kind of gets special powers to be able to talk to a tree mm. because of that. And she's like, oh man, that is like so charming. Because if you told me it, like told me that like that way, I would think like kind of giving tree. Like the guy grows up, and then like because of the tree, he becomes kind of like a man who can whatever, whatever. Mm. And I could see how that's charming. But the book explicitly is like a five-year-old kid. Yeah. So she's she probably is like, oh, I'm gonna run with that idea and make it like this really whimsical kind of thing. But honestly, in my opinion, I I, I don't want to say like I use stupid or anything, obviously. But I think that someone close to her was like, this is what the book's about, and she kind of ran with that idea. Well, it says so she wrote an official apology, and it sounds like she's it says my sweet orange tree is a very precious novel to me. Like that means she's read it and she's read it many times, mm -hmm. and 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 I swear I had no intention to portray a five-year-old child as a symbol of sexuality. Like to be honest, it does sound like it sounded like she wanted to be really artsy. Like she yeah. wanted to be like show the world I'm an artsy person. Like I took my favorite book, I took my favorite book Harry Potter, and I and I accidentally made the wand um, a penis, right? Like, yeah. and it's like, I mean, it could be an accident, but... And she was like, yeah, I didn't really mean to use the word sexy. I meant, like, there's, like, some charm or something in it. Yeah, yeah, it says, I intended to talk about his core quant qualities, not that he is sexy. I was talking about the quality of his duality, not the five-year-old child himself. Yeah. AKA, I, I think someone else wrote that. But um, I don't know. Like, honestly, like. I mean, does nobody it knows. Matter? Nobody knows. Like, does it matter? Like, IU could be this, like, really, really, like, freakity freak freak for yeah. all we know. Like, and that is pretty much nobody's business but hers unless she hurts somebody. Oh, here it is. I want to touch you once more. I wait for you every day. Come and take it all. I want to call for you. I wait for you every day. Even though you sneak away, you'll come see me again tomorrow night. I mean, that is super right, sexual. Especially taken out of context, right? Yeah. Now, I can totally understand, like, if it's a child, a children's book, 
which this is not a children's book. It's about a child, yeah. but it's not a children's book, right? Like if it was a children's book, I can kind of, it's like, that's like love of French friends, right? It's like, I love being around you. You yeah. know, if, if it's a child's book, you don't expect this like air of sexuality, yeah. but like, this is not a child's book. It yeah. happens to be about a child. Um, and I think Ayu probably interpreted, well, that's the way, she, that's what she's claiming. Well, you never know, cause this is all he said, she said, and who knows if this is really even Ayu's real words. Like, who even knows true. if Ayu she wrote, wrote this? any of this? Like, all right, after reading more about this, like, this, some of these lyrics are so bad. Uh, Zizi, climb up the tree, kiss, kiss the, the leaves, leaves. Don't, don't fool around, around. Don't, don't hurt the tree, tree. bad, bad. bad. Zizi, climb up the tree, take the youngest leaf here, take the only flower, climb up me, climb up me. That, that sounds like, Holy take shit. my virginity. Holy shit. Holy shit, are you? Damn. I think, you know how, like, Disney, like, a long time ago, they had, like, a lot of Easter eggs and stuff that are, like, really, really sexual. They're, like, really penises and hidden yeah. frames and stuff. I feel like this is a case of that. Like, she didn't do a good job hiding it, then, man. Like, I, 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 I am, like, kind of in the camp that, like, I, you probably didn't write this. Oh, this song? Yeah. And, like, she didn't really understand the... Yeah. Well, according to her, she really, 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 like... She really, really loves that book. And she read it, and she loved it. I don't know, every time I see an IU thing from the Edison Buzz, it's always like, nobody knows the real IU. Like, she's a fucking, like, she's a bitch, and blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, I don't fucking know. So, the thing is, they keep talking about these Lolita elements in the 23 music video, but when we watched the 23 music video, I didn't really notice anything that wrong. Mm -mm. I mean, in as far as, like, Alice in Wonderland has some kind of weird moments because yeah. she's a girl, a young girl that yeah. gets thrown into another world with creepy-ass motherfuckers everywhere. Yeah. But, like, I didn't think anything in that music video was, like, that weird. Did you? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't remember anything. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why people keep, you know, people keep saying that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, anyways, like, I think that's, I mean, if you know more about Ayu's thing or what, what you think of Ayu's thing, like, I know we just kind of half-assed it, or, we, I didn't want to half-ass it. The point was I wanted to kind of give you our discussion, like, from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. Like, like kind of like how we used to do reactions, where, like, we gave you our real reactions. Not some pre-rehearsed, not some pre-scripted out, like, mm. shit that is agreeable. Because, again, you, we don't know Ayu, and we don't know other reactors, but... I swear to God, some of those dudes just like... Yeah. So It's like their fifth time recording. So it. TLDR, there's like... I think one of two things can be possible in that whole IU thing. IU is a closet freak. Or she didn't write it herself. Which is, I think, the second... But, but either way, like... Everyone knows, if this wasn't IU, if this was somebody else, like... This girl would be put in the box. All right, this, this, whoever wrote she this would be put in the box. And she yeah, she would have been Yeah, one. She would have been TR. She would have been shoved away for a while. But, but it's not you. And, and we, I mean, your girlfriend even mentioned this. Like, and you, she was like, nobody cares. Yeah. But no, I thought she said a bunch of her friends were arguing, like, some for IU and some oh, for yeah. not IU, I thought. Um, which I thought normally your girlfriend doesn't give no shits about K pop. I mean, she knows about shit, but she doesn't really give a shit about anything. And she doesn't watch this. Do you? No. Um, all she right. used to, actually. Oh, really? I mean, yeah. to be fair, like, but her English is pretty good, right? Yeah. It's really good, actually. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes we talk fast. All right, I'm just going to look for, like, a minute more. Ida's with the most Instagram followers. Oh. Don't care. Um, Ayu had sampling controversy. Okay, sure. Oh, just a bunch of Don't blah, care blah, blah. about that. Don't care about <clears throat> that. Sai coming back in December. I'll believe it when I fucking see it. Um, Jessica and Tyler Kwan spotted together in Korea. Oh my god! No one really cares anymore. More either more artists like Shin Sung Hoon and IU turn away from promoting on music shows. Sure, I guess. Oh, did you see this thing about Suzy? So Susie's in this like a new movie, right? This Korean movie, of course. Mm -hmm. And like during one of like the movie interviews, um, one of the interviewers asked her to kind of explain her role in the movie. 
and she said she was explaining her role and she was saying like at the time back in the day because it's one of those old you know history his, history korean movies and it's like oh at that time only women uh could perform this thing mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. you know it was 1867 back then women only women can do it and like um the anchor the anchor is like no 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 only men can do that and she's like <laughs> like she couldn't she couldn't explain it yeah and like <clears throat> well i don't know if you guys are familiar but uh susie's never really been good at like thinking up things on the spot mm. like she's never really been good on variety except for just kind of like being cute. oh susie like you're like the makne and you're saying like funny things you know yeah um i think it's pretty funny though that like you can do a whole entire movie but to be fair, interviews, A, you don't know, like, if it's anything like American movie interviews, like, you do 100 interviews in one day. Yeah. Like, you go back to back to back to back, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and, like, sometimes you just don't know what the fuck you're you saying. Because you're paying for it, yeah. Like, I, I don't think she was specifically, like, you know, um, just dumb, but... But then on the other hand, it's, like, usually interviews with interviews, they kind of screen the questions with, like your manager or like the person who's like your handler and is like is are these questions okay pretty much true true um but i don't know i i've read a lot of about the kind of the interview process and how like how shitty like how really shitty um that the movie uh promotion cycle is right like how you just either flying from place to place um you're interviewing with people that or, you know, not funny or assholes mm -hmm. or boring and you just yeah. gotta do it over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for Dumpster Diving. I think for a pilot episode, I think that went, okay. Um, probably next time I will, maybe I'll pre-pick some articles so that I can yeah. show it to Josh Raw so at least one of us can have a Yeah, a, we'll, we'll, a, we'll a think about thing. it twice. Um, yeah, I think we'll think about it twice. Um, but this is going to be like an every two months kind of section. I mean, yeah, we're not next, gonna do it every week. Yeah, next after show show, you can look forward to more rambling about random ass stuff. We didn't Probably do much rambling in today. Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to ramble about for the last five minutes? Not really. Oh, we uh, Stephen and I went and had Thanksgiving dinner because we're both American, obviously. Then our Thanksgiving dinner comes in end of November uh, at our good friend um, who lives near Seoul. And Steven, as you know, is on a diet. Many of you know if you follow his Instagram or all, Instagram. All 30 of you. <laughs> but I, I want to say, like, everyone, I think you should really congratulate Steven because he's lost a, a shit ton of weight. <clears throat> I think something around 15, 16 pounds. Hmm. Right? And, um, you know, big ups to you, Steven. Like, that's... that's uh, Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say good job. I man. mean, I thought about it twice. <laughs> I just want to say good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I uh, actually last after show show we were gonna talk about food and I was yeah. gonna talk about my diet and kind of yeah. what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, that Thanksgiving was so good because I was the first real food I ate in a month, yeah. um, and I I woke up two pounds heavier. Um, two pounds, two whole pounds, two whole pounds, which That's maybe nothing. not even be that much. That's nothing. But it wasn't like it wasn't immediately after. I bet immediately after it was like four pounds. Oh, I, um, I was easily four pounds yeah. heavier after. But definitely the next day, after some poop and after some pee came out, it was still two pounds. And yeah. so uh, the last two or three days, I, I've been trying to get back, <laughs> trying to negate those two pounds again. But like, um, Yeah, because normally, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but a long time listeners know that I like to eat. And I eat a lot. I eat more than Steven eats. And like these past like two or three days, I have been pooping like twice a day. I eat so much. I... <laughs> Because of my diet, I poop maybe every four days. <laughs> Yowza, man. And it's not a good poop. It's Yowza. like, it's it's not a painful poop. It, it's just like, since I don't eat much food, there's nothing to poop. Right? My body uses most of it. And so it's like, it's like you really want to poop, but then like, just like, it's like a cat poop, I bet. It's like, it's just a little like, poop comes out and you're like, I swear there's more in there, but it won't come out. So you just kind of got to wait. Um... God, see, yeah, it's not great. Uh, the diet I'm doing, it's 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 like a crash diet, so it's not necessarily the healthiest diet, um, but it works very fast. Um, you know, 16 pounds in one month. I'm hope I'm hoping for another 10 in the second month. 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Then I can finally button up this. My my goal. Okay, here's the thing. All right, I know you want to leave. Think about it. Twice. Okay, I, I th I've thought about this twice, and I still want to say it. And that's I haven't seen my Adam's apple. I think probably since I was like eight. Do I have Adam's apple? Is it visible? I can't really. I've, see I've it. always been told I have like a really small Adam's apple. I, I can see maybe a little, but a little, yeah, a little bit here. Yeah. I, I can't see mine. Uh, but like my family genetics. So like from my dad's side of the family, they all have big waists, big bellies. So I have a lot of fat that concentrates in my belly. And on my mom's side, uh, all their fat is in their necks. All right, and it's I got the, the and I got the double fucking whammy, and I got neck, and I got stomach. So like. I have met people 150 pounds heavier than me with a smaller neck than me. And like uh, uh, one of our neighbors, I used to argue with him all the time because I'm like, my pants are uncomfortable. Like I can't even bun them up. Like, and he's like, shut the fuck up. Like I weigh more than you and I wear my pants just fine. And I'm like, you just don't understand. Like everyone's fat is di distributed in different places. Sure. And like, I would get super uncomfortable. I couldn't sit down without feeling really uncomfortable. And he's just like, you're just making it up or or you just really like tight pants. And I'm like, you just, you, you, like, everyone's different, bro. Like, you're not even Asian, man. It's it's like, sometimes you like, argue, like, who has it worse, you know? It's like, yeah. man, I grew up like poorer than you. Like, yeah, I is had, that really something yeah, to brag about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, for real. I'm still, it feels better. I can finally wear clothes that I haven't worn in two years. Um... You look good, but I, uh, I hope you uh, just kind of regulate it a little bit more. Probably go to the gym would be better. I do need to start going to the gym, but yeah. it's starting. It's it's winter, of course, in Korea, which uh -huh. means AKA cold as fuck. It was raining. Like, it was raining like a motherfucker when I was coming here. Yeah, it was. Um, so the next thing I need to do, I think, is get eye surgery because my eyes are too damn small. And then I can be an icon, AKA just sitting in the back while behind Bobby. Can you dance? Shit. No, you're perfect. I'm perfect. <laughs> oh, pew pew, shots fired. Hey, think about it. Twice. Okay. Um, all right, that'll be it for the After Show Show episode 80. Tune in next week, of course, for episode 81. Tell us what you think about dumpster diving. Follow us on Instagram. Um, you'll see pictures of me and my diet, maybe, or random ass shit. Bye. Think about it. Twice. Think of it. Wait. <laughs> Is it time? Okay.